This is unrealistic. That woman knows how to use the radio. This is what you do. <laughs> That's what Rally does when things break. Hey there, how are you? <laughs> He acts like Luke Skywalker. We really wanted to watch some of the most popular sailing videos out right now, and that is Adrift and All Is Lost. And just pick him to pieces. Yeah, we're, we've been sailing the world for five years now, and we really love looking at these Hollywood films because we can always point out all the mistakes. If you're new here, subscribe, and let's get into it. Do you, uh, like fish? I'm actually a vegetarian. Smooth. Do you know what? I can make a really good vegetarian version. Do you want me to grab anything else? Mm -hmm. You couldn't cook. You cook pasture every night. Oh, no harness. No, no one's going to harness on. Ooh. Irresponsible. Mm. Bad role model. <laughs> Let's not get personal here. I love you. I love you. Always have. And I know that I want to be with you forever. Is he dead here or not? <laughs> no, he's alive. <laughs> How would you know though? Spoiler. <laughs> How they managed to get stuck in this storm with full sail up, I will never know. Happened to me, the other day. Yeah, true. That was a school though. This is a hurricane. Oh, they didn't know it was coming. Yeah, that's right. But still, you'd see it on the horizon and you'd feel the wind pick up. That just makes me never want to sail at all, ever. This reminds me when we were in the Mediterranean and um, I had overfurled the headsail and we got that air bubble caught. Oh, and, it was and we're like, heading for the Gibraltar Strait shipping lane. And it was shaking. 40 knots. Like we thought the mast Actually, was going to come down. Food. That was, And we we're going to cut the sail. <laughs> and then we managed to get oh, I said, get me the knife. Yeah. And then you figured it out, hey? You were yeah. like, do this. Yeah. <laughs> you were just, just like, let's, cut, it. It. let's like, cut the sail. Get me the knife! Yeah, I just, I just don't know how they got caught in a hurricane with full sail up and not have seen it coming. Because Wasn't you would it see that. It weather? Doesn't weather matter, you would bats. feel it pick up. You would have time to read your sails. First unrealistic thing. Second unrealistic thing is they survived the hurricane. This is unrealistic. That woman knows how to use the radio and appears reasonably competent. Can you imagine just a floating mono hull, no rigging, no electric? What's it like sailing out there all alone? You're either sleep deprived or seasick, and after a few days, there's the hallucinations. Why do you do it? It's a feeling. That's true. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't know about hallucinations, but he gives a fairly accurate description of sailing. They definitely got a sailor like working with them for this movie but there was just some little thing that slipped through that maybe they decided they didn't care about because it is a Hollywood film. I'm not going anywhere without you. Come sail with me. That's what you did to me. Except you didn't know how to sail as well when you first met me. <laughs> so they did get a weather update. My ribs are broken. My legs are oh. shattered. I'm dead weight. Was that gaffy tape? Yeah. This bit. <laughs> oh. So that anchor is beautifully placed. It's in sand. If you want to anchor, that's perfect. And I was like, why is she moving it? Where is she going with that? That was perfect. And he comes down to help. And then they wrap it onto a coral reef, which is bad for the coral and terrible for anchoring. Yeah, like, if you if the wind swings, that's a dead giveaway. <laughs> like, the sailors would just be going, ah. How's the anchor, Elena? Perfect. All right, grab it and go and wrap it around that rock. <laughs> <laughs> mm, this bit's so sad. This is the bit where I cried because I can't even imagine coming back onto the boat that you made so many memories in without your partner. Like, I couldn't even go on board. I can't even watch this. It makes me so sad. Really? I love you, baby. Look, I have tears in my eyes. Tammy oh. Oldham. What a mad dog she, she is. She survived at sea for 41 days. What a legend. That's incredible. That lady deserves a bloody medal. Good movie. I thought it was going to be super cheesy, but they managed to make a realistic 
apart from a few minor little apart errors. From the anchoring. <laughs> but um, I, I really liked it. That sound is realistic. In fact, the sound is worse than what it sounds like there. Oh. Come is on, he, Robert. You is can he going to put the um, storm sail up? Looks like it, yeah. That's pretty... He's putting the storm jib up. Ew! They're in a marina there, I can tell. <laughs> they are. Oh, he falls in. What's really great about this is he's older, you know. There are much more cruisers around that are older. He's kind of a stereotypical, like he's methodical. Mm. He does things in a methodical manner. <laughs> then when he falls overboard, he's going to have a lot more difficulty getting back on, mm. like up his lifeline than someone yeah. 30 years younger than him. Oh, would. like I don't even know how I climb up a lifeline at this age. Come on, Robert! Oh, I thought he was going to have more difficulty than that. <laughs> that was easy. Once he, it's like once he found the lifeline, he was all right. What? What? It looked like the boat, like, really slowly. Yeah, he's capsized. Yeah, but... Well, what speed would you like it to capsize? Oh, I just... I don't know. It was just chilling, sitting, and then... It's a big wave. Okay, yeah. Well, I've never capsized touch wood, so I guess maybe it, it does happen this slow. The thing that cracks me up is he looks through the hatch and, and he's like, oh, I okay, I'm upside down, but gravity should be your giveaway there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, if you're on the roof. <laughs> Hang on, no, I'm not convinced. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, no, we're upside down. And that monohull looks like there should be water coming in those windows. Like, that ain't a... Oh, definitely. Like, that is ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we're back over but you're never sure until you check out one of the hatches. <laughs> He's doing pretty well. He's not even like yelling or looking super scared. He's a great actor, Robert. Oh man, oh, can God. you imagine? Mate. Right now, I would just be getting anything that floats like, I would have grabbed that life ring and just, like, everything I could. Food. Did he grab food? He would be so sad right now. Watching. It's going. It's gone. So, my mate was like, why didn't he pull, why didn't he pull his EPIRB? And I was like, because then there would be no movie. He would have been rescued. This is an EPIRB, you would get one of these, it's the very first thing that you would get on a ocean voyage, crossing. If you pull it, hope for, ordinarily someone comes and rescues you unless you're in the Great Southern Ocean or something like that. Yeah. So, the fact that he's on a really beautiful boat like he was, and apparently doesn't have one of these, very unrealistic. Mm. How scary. God, that's sad. That's a pretty sick life raft. Wouldn't be sick after a few days. <laughs> if you had a pole spear, you could honestly last for a long time. Oh. Robert the Biscuit Eater. Number one sailor in the world. Got some newspaper clippings in his emergency kit. That's good. Are they newspaper Always clippings? Always good to keep the mind occupied. What are they? They're not newspaper clippings. <laughs> it looks like it. No. Old photographs, so you can get really nostalgic. Okay, so he's got some water. Is he in the wee drinking stage here? Kind of looks like it by that facial expression. Or... What is it? Salt water. Why would it be full of salt water? It's got a crack in it. But wouldn't it just be empty rather than full of salt water? Unless it was submerged. Oh no, is he sick? This does not make sense. Ah. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> this, is what, this is what you do. <laughs> That's what Rally does when things break. When the sail flaps. <laughs> okay. Dove movie trailer. 
This is a film from 1974. This is cinematic. Gee, I love the this. In this true story of one man's quest to circle the globe alone. Sailing around the world doesn't mean anything by itself. It's a journey of discovery filled with romance, exotic locales, <laughs> and non-stop Oh danger. my god. <laughs> <laughs> that is actually how like we talk to dolphins. Emergency boat is on fire. We're going to make a section island in the dinghy. <laughs> <laughs> he, like, he acts like Luke Skywalker. Oh no. Oh no. Joseph Bottom stars in a thrilling saga. Joseph Bottom. I want to watch that. That looks so good. Hey Lenny Bumble. Hey Lenny Boo. What are we watching? What do you think of Dove, mate? It's good. Did you have a good sleep, buddy? Thanks for watching. If you're new here, subscribe. And please give the video a like. I'm trying to get Lenny to do a thumbs up. Thumbs up, Lenny. No? You just want to chew your fist, don't you? <laughs>